Um, hello everyone. Uh, I would like to share my AI powered kind of writing or brainstorming uh, flow with you in Tana. Mm. So I start with like a kind of unstructured um, idea, but so the resources are the ones that it gives me inspiration about this topic that maybe I want to discuss or create a workshop or research about that. And these are the you know the literature notes from books from this book. That I already extract, and and I think um, more you give uh, context to AI, it creates uh, less generic uh, information. Mm. So maybe we can ask AI to suggest some books for us. And I'm not using any any external library. I'm just using. I'm just asking GPT. Uh, you know, it also creates lots of fake ones. I think GPT-4 is much better. So I tell it like, uh, like your responses should be based on credible and respected publications, reliable. Of course, it's, we should always check. And otherwise, I can just use my own library to write book names here or other quotes. Uh, anything that I think can be useful for my writing I just put in these resources so let's see some publications also the, another fun uh, comment for me I, I do write about art I'm an artist and uh, teaching arts so I most of the time I need artworks in my text to illustrate my subjects so um, Let's say artworks. So yeah, find artworks or art projects directly re related to this subject, any period, any medium. So let's also ask some artworks. They also go into resources. I can also ask movies. This is useful, especially if I write about movies to uh, to create connections with other movies. So as you can see, this this takes some time, and yeah, okay, sure. Some books, authors might be interested. Human past, and yeah, these are quite generic books, but sometimes it it provides uh, books that I I don't really know. Um, there are also some nice ones, like this one from John Nancy, Creation of World or Globalization. Yeah. And yeah, let's remove this one and keep this one. World mm, in the making. Yeah. Okay, let's 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 use this one. And then there are. Uh, you can see some artworks, um, but for this text, I don't think I'm going to write about artworks because it's going to be too too complex for AI. I mean, so let's just remove them. Okay, now we have some resources, and also to add more resources, we can we can use some methodological ideas. So to do that, where is methodology? Yep. Okay, node is missing. Yeah, to create a node. Yes, sorry. So first I should uh, create a form. Um, so what I mean, this is the, wh what is my final, final text form? So it's, let's say, it's an, I don't know, it's, let's say it's an synthesis essay and we should also create some questions but to create questions when I whenever I ask uh, AI to create questions it's 
they are you know it's quite generic and stupid so I don't want that so to avoid that I have this uh, method called uh, list of boring ideas uh, let's see mm. so list some overused concepts in research about this subject the subject is this one and so I am going to use this um, boring ideas um, let's say not boring <laughs> but some overused concepts uh, when I create questions and text Okay, uh, now it gives me some some overused ideas, and okay, we can now create questions. So state three new questions based on this note, and keywords are the topics. And do not use these topics. Yeah, don't don't create questions based on these uh, overused topics. So, how does the concept of history influence our understanding of processes involved in world making, especially in the context of human evolution? As you can see, this is quite specific and something that I might sincerely interested to learn more about. In what ways does the interplay between non-human factors contribute to conversion? Okay, yes, these are quite quite good questions I don't want this great man theory mm. okay the next part is uh, this one I sometimes use sometimes not but let's create some methodology because I know what I'm going to do but this uh, methodology is quite useful if I'm doing something that I don't really know the structure of that text and um, yep create an appropriate methodology to work on this subject final form will be essay some keywords topics that we have questions to consider and the methodology must be consistent with final aim yes so it should be a this sort of methodology for synthesis essay and yes it will create um, a method and method description and with, with a tag AI research process so preliminary research begin with a literature review on K concepts non-human this will include analysis of scholarly right, so it just um, tells me to do a literature uh, review. I can so uh, to make my mm, resources more uh, um, to make my resources richer or uh, have more detailed books. I can keep on working on this methodology. So if if I I can narrow down with the subjects and. And the, and the context if I click process it will it will it will try to um, create uh, a comprehensive literature review then I usually copy past into here okay let's let's uh, let's write with what we have writing yes okay so the the our writing form will be essay, subject, keywords. Don't write about these things. If if I have like resources or some findings, use them. Otherwise, skip them. And some questions to consider are questions uh, to give more frame to our text. And emphasis on is like so. If I want my text is about like 
uh, some ongoing debates or his or some case studies I just click them so in the final text uh, the AI writes gives some examples of case studies or debates etc these are of course depends on what, what what do you write and you can modify this what but what I like in Tana is that it's you can dynamically change the prompt then there are, I have text rules such as don't oversimplify subjects don't use generalizations and also you know when you read AI you you know it's written by AI so because it uses some cliche words like complexities interplay pushing boundaries like so I I tell it not 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 try not to use these kind of words. Okay, now we have a text. Um, I'm not going to read it, uh, but the next part that I do is asking some asking some editorial changes. Suggest revision. So let's click. So you are uh, you are uh, ruthless actually. Reviewer who hates bullshit read the text and suggest revisions according to the standards of essay. So if you want, actually I can share this prompt with you. Mm, this is the, uh, I think the most useful uh, thing that uh, AI, AI does for me. Uh, now you will see it creates extremely specific uh, uh, re 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 suggestions for revisions. Let's see, like remove unnecessary jargon or provide clear layman term. The paragraph about the Neolithic era is a bit vague. Be more specific, and you see these are these are uh, very useful suggestions. So then. Uh, I ask AI using these suggestions and write the text again. Yep. So it, it checks this, both of them, then creates a new text, which is much, much better compared to the first one. And meanwhile, I can show you some other things. Yeah, the workshop builder I am teaching in school, so it's quite useful for me. Let's let's see how it works. Mm. Yes, you are a creative expert in philosophy, art education, pedagogy, history, and art theory. List mini workshop activity ideas for PhD level art students. Actually, I I don't teach PhD, but because of the AI creates so simple ideas, so I I ask it like PhD, PhD level, and now it will create some workshop ideas here in in this field. Okay, then uh, actually our text is finished after editing. I'm I'm reading some paragraphs. Yeah, you see it uses our resources. The idea of evolving words. So you can make this text more specific, like providing more resources or your your notes, your co quotes from the books, artworks, whatever you want to use it. Or you can create more text rules. Then in the end, uh, what happens actually in the reality? I I usually like maybe just one paragraph, and then I just keep working on such paragraph like I say AI resource process I'm oh, sorry not resource process AI AI research then I just keep working on this into more specific uh, ideas okay and yeah this these these are some workshop ideas and 
you see historical role plays. Students can take on roles significantly. So this is quite fun. Documentary analysis. Yeah, I, I, I most of the time I use ideas here. I just develop them and make more detailed. And I think yeah, there are some other other comments that I use, but let's uh, let's stop it here. Sorry uh, for if it, if it was too complex and I'm not used to do screen recording in English. I hope it makes sense. And if you have more questions, please ask me. And and yes, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.